Okay, this is the stand-up model of the kidney. We're going to start here. We'll do the tubing first. So this is the ureter, okay, here. This area here at the top portion where it meets the kidney is the renal pelvis. And then out here we have um, the major calluses. I'm sorry, not major, the minor, did it again. The minor calluses here and then major calluses in here. Okay, so that funnel system that brings urine from these collecting ducts, okay, that you see in the orange into um, the ureter. And then we have the renal artery, it's 30, renal vein is 26. Okay, the renal artery um, branches to become the interlobar arteries, but we're not labeling that on this model. We will label the arcuate, 28, that vein, arcuate vein, and the arcuate artery is over here labeled 32. That run, those run between the cortex and the medulla. Um, let's see, and then we can do the cortical radiate, or what we call interlobular artery and vein here. Those cortical radiates, or the arteries, the cortical radiate or the interlobular arteries branch to, become, to go into or become that um, afferent arterial into the glomerulus here. And then on the yellow, we would name or label that the PCT, proximal convoluted tubule, because you can see it's attached to the capsule. And then we will follow that down. Number 15, the blue part is the descending loop of Henle. And then we're gonna keep following it. The green is going to be the ascending loop of Henle. And then over here, the other yellow is going to be the distal convoluted tubule. And the DCT, or distal convoluted tubule, empties into the orange collecting duct. And then, really quickly, this was cortex. Okay, outer portion is cortex, that's the number six. And then seven and eight both label the medulla. Okay, so the pink um, is the medulla. And they're arranged in pyramids, so that's the pyramidal, you know, the, the, um, the shape.